In this example, we want to evaluate the limit of the function as x uh, approaches zero. Okay. So let's first do a direct substitution. Okay. So replacing x with zero, we end up getting square root of three plus zero minus square root three, all divided by zero. Okay. So that gives us square root three minus square root three divided by zero, and so this gives us zero over zero. Okay. So we get an indeterminate result. Okay. So this is another example of a function that's going to have a hole in it. Okay. Um, and so from here, we need to rewrite the function. And in this case, we can use the conjugate, okay? So we have the square root of three plus x minus square root three, all divided by x, okay? So we're gonna multiply this by the, uh, uh, by using the conjugate, okay? So we have square root of three plus x, plus square root of three, okay? So, so that is, right, so these, uh, for the numerator, those are expression, those are conjugates of each other. So if we multiply the top by that expression, then we need to multiply the bottom, okay, by the same expression, okay? So again, uh, make sure, you know, make sure that these signs are, are different, okay? Make sure the opposite value, okay? And so then from here, what's going to happen is that the x terms will cancel out, okay? We'll end up getting an x over x, okay? All right, so, okay, let's multiply this out. So we're going to get square root of 3 plus x times another square root of 3 plus x minus, um, or we can say positive square root 3 plus x times square root 3 minus uh, square root of three plus x times square root of three. And then we have square root of three times square root of three, that's just gonna give us three, okay? And then all divided by x times the square root of three plus x plus root three. All right, because we use the conjugate, so these Okay, so we have square root of three plus x times square root of three. Uh, this is going to cancel out with this one. So we get zero there, okay? Uh, furthermore, uh, we have square root of three plus x times square root of three plus x, so that leaves us with three plus x, and then we have minus three, all divided by x times square root of three plus x plus root three. Uh, so this is going to leave us with x over x times the square root of 3 plus x plus root 3. So just like we said, just like I said earlier, these are going to cancel out. That leaves us with 1. So we get 1 over square root of 3 plus x plus root 3. Okay. All right, so now we have, uh, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take the limit of this expression as x approaches zero. Okay, so using a direct substitution, letting x approach zero, we end up getting one over square root three plus zero plus root three, okay? So that leaves us with one over root three plus root three. So that is one over two square root three. And if you want, you can simplify this. Uh, we can go ahead and rationalize this. Okay, so we have just multiply, uh, I multiply the numerator by square root three and denominator by square root three. So we end up getting root three all over. So we have two times three, so that's gonna be six, okay? So that's our solution, okay? Oops. Uh, okay, so, all right. 
Okay, so that's our that's the uh, solution to this limit.